ahead, hit it. Go ahead, hit it. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Hung Yi from iloveinterraciallove.com. After I wrote my ebook, I Love Interracial Love, what Heidi Klum can teach us about big, bold, and black love, many of you were curious about their children. If they are half black and half white, would they consider themselves black, white, or other? And here's the interesting kick. What would happen if they married someone who was also biracial? How would they decide what they identify with? Would it depend on which race had the biggest percentage? How do you even set up this kind of equation? Oh my God, I always get crazy when I have to do math. And I'm Asian. In 10 years, the census says that the majority of the population within the United States will be biracial and mixed. That means that our current way of categorizing and identifying people by race will change in will change dramatically. I think a much better question to ask is, what's your mix? Your answer can include what your parents are, where you grew up, what your influences are, which are just as important to the whole package as anything. They define who you are beyond race. For example, my daughter is a product of an Asian mom, moi, and my nice Jewish husband, who was raised in an Irish Catholic community with a Polish babysitter. And she is someone who is in a relationship now with a half Parisian Vietnamese man. How do you do the math on that? Here's what I think. What is the best thing to say when someone asks you what you are? Listen, don't refer to what the census check boxes think you fit. No one in the census has figured out how to capture the picture of what the future face of the world will look like and how to describe it. This is a perfect time for all of us to realize our power to change the world through our interracial relationships and to determine how we want to be perceived. That's right. It is time to write our own story. Math only tells one side of the story. And just like the SATs, it doesn't even begin to tell the full story of the person. So acknowledge who you are beyond just your background. I find it makes for much better conversation to answer the question with something like this. I grew up in a Jewish-Italian neighborhood in Queens, speaking and dreaming in Cantonese, knee-jerking in Yiddish. I married a nice Jewish boy from Rockaway raised three biracial kids in an Irish Catholic neighborhood by the sea. And yes, you may call me Mrs. Krakauer. Or how about this? I speak English. I complain in Chinese. I yodel in German. I argue in Spanish. I text message in French. I am fluent in backseat driving. Be proud of who you are. Proud to say what you believe your story is and don't let others determine the pigeonhole that they would like to have you in. Your mixed love is the beginning of a brand new world. Define it with pride. Tell me your story in the comments. Share the I love, like it, and jump in the mix. Put your name and email in the box below and sign up for all the really cool free stuff I have for you and all my subscribers at iloveinteracialove.com. You will not want to miss a single thing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the mix.